and Jerry Gabruski. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. With my broski. I'm Raj, that's Ryan, R&R &R -R is the new, new, new world order. Take on the Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. They're involved. See, you know, see, I we, we were going to watch a different game, and I, I had no idea you were going back to this. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I got to do the week. off. Daniel LaRusso, the karate kid himself. See, he did the crane kick there. Yeah, oh, where oh, people wow. mess up is they think the karate kids is just the karate kid. But it has, like, all of those... 80s and 90s type of karate movies like Three Ninjas. Yeah. Surf, cool. surf Ninjas. Uh, and, and other things. Cobra Kai ninja. just came back here recently. Too. Oh! oh! Fumbled, but luckily out of bounds for Yeah, them. the uh, season two? Yeah. Cobra Kai? Yeah. First season was pretty good. I saw some of those episodes. I really did enjoy it. You know who's been having a great season? The New World Order. Yeah, they suck. They are the worst team ever. They just are just dominating. That's the best way if they, I mean, that's the best way to rule Muda. Muda. They said that Heavy Great. Rush was Muda. dead, and nobody told Muda. Yeah, right. Nobody told Muda. And he only has three runs, Hogan. Hollywood, you know, he's a selfish bastard. Hollywood. He'll take the ball when they get closer to the end zone. Oh, yeah. That's oh. what Hogan does, man. He's got to shine. He's got to have a light shining on him at all times, yeah. even when he's taking a poop. Glorious. Oh, yeah, that's Robert Reed's Son of Rick Rude. Son of Rick Rude. He looks beautiful with that mustache. It looks beautiful. Rick Rude should be on this NWO team somewhere. Yep, yeah, right. So. Muda. Muda, Muda, Muda. Oh, he's dragon first down. Muda was the dragon? I thought that no, was Steamboat. Was dragon. <laughs> no, no. Ricky Steamboat was never part of the NWO. He wasn't hard. Oh, there's Buff. Does he have the stuff? Nope. Nope, he does not. Just he not enough. He threw his hat up and caught him <laughs> He was looking at it with his hat. I thought he, I thought he was looking at it. It hit him in the head. <laughs> And there, like you said, Hogan's trying to run it in there. <laughs> trying to steal that and, thunder. And that got him in trouble with that sex date. <laughs> yeah, trying to run it right in there. See, there he's running right in. But this time it looks like the Hulkster's... Oh! oh the Hulkster goes down. Fourth and he, two. He, he realized that he's Hogan and can't run and just collapsed. Broke his the... hip. <laughs> it's fake hip. The fake hip. Oh! Karate Kids try to block it, but it is good as the good field goal by Tandy Miyase. Everybody got a price. The million dollar man. I wonder if he's a billion dollar man. Billion yeah. dollar man. Yeah, that's a billion dollar Vince. <laughs> and Tony Khan. <laughs> the Brewski. Not really doing much there. The kids. Mm, Brewski. They've been having a hard. NWO have been having a great season. Lots of victories. The uh, Karate Kid did not have been having a crazy season. They've got a guy Lots wide open to the top. There's the dragon. The dragon. Hulk Hogan himself. Oh! oh misses a tackle and See, one. That's how Hulk Hogan's worth touching the problem. Yeah. Because Dave uh, Dragon is Hulk Hogan. That's the guy from Three Ninjas. Really? Uh, when Hogan was the villain. Really? Did you watch that Three Ninja one with the Hogan? I've seen a couple of Three Ninjas. There's a certain, I think it's Three Ninjas. Three Ninjas kickback. The kickback was the second one. Yeah, the third one was like attack at mountain whatever it was the, the it's been a part. long time since i've seen this you know but and especially the sequels it gets harder to remember them because you know they were awful <laughs> like, right yeah. the, everyone oh three ninjas i've seen man. Yeah, it's sting hitting people with the baseball bat but going really nowhere is it fake sting or real sting i'm know. so confused hogan hogan getting dropped back again 16 yard lo or six yard loss dragged down like a voodoo child yeah that's his the scene of the Jimi Hendrix. And Muda, well, Muda yeah. looks like he slowed down a little bit. You know, how, you know how WCW used to do it? They would just rip off a song and then change a few notes to go, you know, right. like, like so DDP was like it. self high five and Team Spirit would come on. <laughs> Diamond Dallas Page not on this NWO team. Remember, he rejected the t shirt and Diamond Cuttered it. Second. 20, 30 seconds. Yeah, that's right. Oh, New World Order having some trouble here against the Karate Kids. Hiya! Well, they've only got to get one yard here. A little less than a yard. Oh, give it to Muda. He's got to get the yard. It. The defense here of the Karate Kids, you think, I would think these little kids would be uh, hard to, or, you know, easy to run against. Yeah, well, they've got those karate moves, man. You can do a jump kick to the, to the skull. And... Oh! Speaking of jump kick to the skull, wow. Muda... Missed. He missed him and then did that like why ya kick. You know, you know the why ya kick. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why ya? Right to the right to the temple. Speaking of a temple, there's Hogan to Muda. Oh, oh nice diving block. 
tip drill by the wall. Hit it with the tip. Just the tip. She can't get pregnant if you pull one. Hogan with the ball here. Getting it down to Buddha. Which is over And yes, I do have a son. <laughs> so, I told the joke about pulling out when get pregnant when I have a son. Oh, yeah. Bad joke. Oh, and they hold him to four and two Ooh, again man. in the red zone. How many field goals have they kicked this season? I don't know, but I'm going to say it's not a lot. The NWO is usually getting in that end zone. Oh, and they almost had it blocked. Almost blocked it. Their the whole team was in there. Completo! Ed DiBiase paying the bills. I guess he'd be I mean, He's the one that's bankrolling the NWO was the storyline, remember? They brought the million dollar man in because they needed the money to finance the NWO. Yep. Then they had sold out the pay per view, the NWO pay per view. Yep. Sold out. Brought to you by Snickers. Sword on. Yeah, Sword on. Goes down. Dude, Roman has been into the original Power Rangers. He was those watching are, some of the, the other best. ones. Oh, I love them. I love them. I wish they were in HD quality. Sword on drops back. You, know, you get what you get. Passes to uh, oh, an interception. The interception. It was not even a red coat there. Big Kevin Nash with the ball. Well, when just... you're seven foot tall and you got like another ten foot reach on you. Yeah, he didn't have to jump. Was he super shredder during he didn't this? Jump. Ooh, the TMNT torturer. One copyright. <laughs> <laughs> right there. First and down. Really the first that time. Maybe that's why he plays on defense <laughs> here. Hogan with the Muda pitch out. Muda so fast he has to run so far for that pitch out, but look at how far he's gone. And they're back in the red zone. Let's see if they can actually capitalize on this. Assignment. I mean, you're a man who has had an amazing running back. We're talking about the legendary Bone Air, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Oh, oh Muda Muda drags drags him in. In. Um, they're talking. They're talking. Muda might break some records here. How do you feel about that? Yeah, different season, different time. It is true. The game has evolved in different ways. Bone Air will always be a legend. He's always going to be the first Hall of Fame. Yeah. But Muda, I mean... Psh, I, I, Bone Air was really good about this. Detail. I, uh, I I reached out to Mr. McCormick over the offseason and offered uh, Muda a nice little spot in the Hall of Fame, and uh, McCormick denied and said that Muda still had work to do. <laughs> and it's clear that he's doing work. Well, yeah, he's doing work this season. Like He is a legendary season right now. First and ten for the Karate Kid. Zordon pitches it back to Chuck Norris. <laughs> Chuck Norris, nice. Chuck, yeah, man. You got all the karate sensations out there. Mr. Miyagi, Zordon. Do they have the, to the total gym out there? The from total Chuck gym. I, don't, I think they have people. Sponsor. <laughs> I would be for the total gym. Oh, what was that? Um, Action jeans. Have you seen those? Those are the Chuck Norris jeans that you can kick in. No, I've seen the... Uh, the advertisement. The water. Water. Yeah. Oh! oh and almost another pickoff. They need to... Uh, Get that ball where it needs to go. See, the object of the game is to get the ball to the receiver. The receiver Ooh. scored points. Oh, he's got an open receiver way up there. Dave Dragon. Hulk the it up. Dragon. Oh, but look oh, at that man. secondary. And see, NWO, everybody's all fixated on, on uh, Muda. And the great season Muda's been having and Hogan. But that secondary is fast as heck. You got Nash back there. You got Hall back there. You got Six Pock. Oh! oh and another Speaking of Scott Hall! Hall. Oh my god, the outsider's really paying dividends on defense here today. He must have, I drunk, I said his name, he's like, what? Huh? And then the ball just lands in his hands. Oh, another interception. The other way. Johnny! Who, whoever Johnny is. I'm going to say he's the motorcycle from Corinne. Uh, <laughs> you know the guy? You know the guy. He turns into a motorcycle, you have to race him? No. You know Chrono Trigger, right? Yeah. You know when you go to the dystopian future? Never played. Oh, what? We, we all will. Oh, it's like the greatest RPG ever. You'd love it. You'd love Secret of Mana. I do. It's like Secret of Mana on crack, except you, you do turn-based battles. Uh, but it does it in kind of like a Secret of Mana-like viewpoint. So like a Secret of Mana meets Final Fantasy. Oh, yeah. Thing. Oh, yeah. It, it, it's, it's, I would say it's the best RPG on the Super Nintendo. Maybe the best RPG ever. Multiple endings. Really? Yeah, you For go. You, yeah, you travel through time. Don't you have a super? You, isn't it on the SNES Mini? Or well, I mean, you know, anything could be on the SNES, SNES Mini. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Jumbo. Yeah, Jumbo. there's Jumbo. like a hundred games on there, but I don't really play it that much. What do you play? Uh, I think it, I think I put it on there. If it wasn't already on there, I, don't think it was. I mean, they also have it on DS. Same okay. game, just I ported think, it over. Yeah, they ported it over. I, it might maybe 3DS, but I want to say just DS. 
They did release it for PlayStation 1. They released it for much There's time. the dragon oh. overthrown this time. I think it's on, you get on your mobile device now. I think it's in app stores even. Yeah, I don't like but playing yeah. this game Well, you know, for turn-based games, I don't mind too much. Like, I have Dragon Warrior 1. Well, I had uh, Final Fantasy 7 on there. I just didn't like yeah. playing it. I like having a controller in my hand. There's like Dave the Dragon, dragon breathing goes. fire. <laughs> Peter Dragon. Oh my god. Peter Dragon gets in for the oh. touchdown. Peter Dragon's a legendary Cleveland steamer. This is his brother, Dave Dragon. He's also played by Hulk. So. <laughs> Karate kids could go up here by one point. Ooh, they're a lot in there. Oh, oh and they blocked up. it. The best block they could have got right there. I figured about the video games, though. I bought Final Fantasy Tactics on the iPad when it came out. Played it like twice. Yeah. Like, it's just not the same it's not, It doesn't have the same feel. I'm old. I need a controller in some capacity. Ooh, look at Ooh, Sting go. He's coming down from the rafters. The icon. Wow, Hits he hit away him. with the baseball bat. Right in the face. Goody. Oh, no, he couldn't. I mean, still 70 he, yards. He tripped on his trench coat. <laughs> it's, you shouldn't be playing a football game in a trench coat. Muda getting back to at least line of scrimmage-ish. I said ish because he lost a yard. <laughs> yeah, don't choke on that. Part. Share it, man. Hog. Hog Hogan. Where's Horace? Horace is out there somewhere. Second and third. Can can they score? A they already scored one touchdown, right? But yeah, they, they scored, scored two field goals and one touchdown. Two field goals. Yes, they got an opener right there. Oh, Brian Adams. Way overthrown, almost intercepted too. If he could have just jumped. A Brian little Adams, high. remember he sung the uh, uh, Robin Hood theme. Brian, uh, isn't he a singer? Yeah, Brian Adams. Is a singer. But I'm pretty sure that that guy's named Brian Adams too. Chronic. Remember Chronic? Chronic. Brian Adams, who was Wrath, and yep. then, the, then the other guy who was Adam Bomb. Yep. And the order. Muda scores. Muda With got a it. power bomb through a table. I don't think Muda's power bomb many people. Table. He's kind of small. He's like Tajiri-ish. I would say maybe Tajiri stole his gimmick, really. Except yeah, Luda wears face paint. But they, I mean, they got the mysterious spitting. Mysterious spitting. Yeah, you gotta spit the different uh, mist. There's different colors of mist, too, man. And they do different things. They do, they do! They do. Red burns. Yellow stings. And the brewski. One makes him go to sleep. I think that might be blue. That, that would make sense. Blue is usually a sleeper. Zordon! Zordon! Calling for the power of Mr. Miyagi, Miyagi. who and waxed Miyagi, it off. Yeah, super old. Yeah, like, the poor, maybe that's the problem with the Karate Kids here. They put too many old people in charge when they, they were, they got the young people. Right. They called kids for a reason. Yeah. Like karate geezers. Zordon? I didn't even know Zordon had feet. He doesn't. He just floats. He's just a floating head. He's just grabbing the ball with his mouth, and then he spits it out, and he's, like, throwing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, Zordon taking oh, it in the butt. And he cuffs oh, it up. oh, right in the Speaking butt. Of out the oh, mouth. there he is. There he is. The best there is. The best there was. The best there ever will be. Damn right. And he was only tackled because a fan ran out on the field. And him. <laughs> the fan came out. The fan came out and was screwing him over still. Hogan right up the middle oh. with a little zigzag. Look at that. Hogan taking advantage of a situation. What? Never. Yeah, Never. Right. Taking, the no, the boa flapping look, in the look, wind. Look Bret Hart was getting a little bit of love, and Hulk Hogan was like, nope, I gotta come in here. It's WrestleMania, you know, 11 <laughs> again, or whatever it was. Where Bret lost to Yoko, and Hogan comes out and was like, no, I'll fight him. <laughs> yeah, I, I said earlier, I put up a question on the uh, heel group about uh, who was the best champion of all time, and I said it was Hogan. Because in my era, in our era... Hogan was the champion. He was our Bruno San Martino. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what... It, it, he drew me in. I was he a Hulkamania. He slammed the giant. He did. Who slams the giant? He also had to slam that, like, wife that he had. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's more of an incredible feat. Yeah, that's, that's pretty right. cool. Ooh. Ooh, Bubba the Love Sponge has been there. So, let's get back to the game here. Third quarter. Halftime happened at some point. And we skipped right over it. Right? We were having great conversation. And that's what people tune Fourth in for. Fourth and six. Oh, man, and they're the going to started that's not out good. a little slow. If they could have just really waited. picked up their game. If they could have waited eight seconds, they could, they probably would have went for it. Because now it's going to be fourth quarter. It's a true story. So Parker. Peter Parker, I guess. Hitting the Muda. Hi-ya. He's got that, those karate skills too, right? 
Parker or Parka? Avengers Endgame. If you haven't gone and watched it, when Iron Man married Captain America, I cried. There's Muda hitting people as hard as Thanos when he destroyed every other planet in Endgame. Does Muda have the pretty sweet little glove? Oh, the glove, yeah, the Infinity Gauntlet. He's got the reality gem because he is destroying the reality of what is a running back. Hogan! 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 Oh, he couldn't and hit the big boot. He went for it, but you know that arthritis, he can't, he can't get the leg up as, yeah, as much as anymore. anymore. Hollywood! Hulk! Right to Muda. Oh, oh, oh! Muda popcorn! Oh, yeah! A little flip over the dude. New, new, new world order. They great, are just great, dominant. great, 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 Muda. They took over. They took this game over. It's over. They're taking this game over. Adding another one for the bad guy. You're on the board for probably seeing Jason Post Scott Hall like, every week. Cause I thought he said, I thought Scott Hall always called them the good guys. What be he saying they're the good guys? I don't know. I always say bad guys because I think a bad guy is the greatest for a moment. Yeah, bad guy. I'm the bad guy. Bad guy. Being a bad guy is cool. Being a good guy is not cool. What? No, no, sir. What? Look at John Cena. I, I would look at John Cena, but I can't see him. <laughs> All right. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, Dave Dragon. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Oh my wow. God well, way overthrown. If that was thrown to Kevin Nash, though, he could have just reached up and grabbed yeah, it. He would have he done his, uh, his little jump. <laughs> I would be scared to death to see Kevin Nash jump, just so right? we're clear. Like off the top row. Oh my, that's like Sid area. You know what I'm talking oh. about? Yeah. Oh. Sid vicious. He had a guy open up top. Why did he throw it down? Man, they are just Fourth falling and eight. apart. They, yeah, they fell apart after halftime, didn't they? Sort of. I'm starting to flash out. This crystal must be running dry. It's past the kids' bedtime. They're getting cranky. <laughs> <laughs> and the dragon picking yeah. it up. I mean, he, Hogan's trying to do everything on his own. He's the only one doing. It's like it's it like, like it's like those early days of WCW before the NWO was there, and he's just trying what he can. Oh, he's gonna try to connect with Spencer. Intercepted for a touchback. What a time for an interception. Wow. I'm gonna say that was Scott Hall again. He just drunkenly stumbled right into that it one. Hit him in the head and fell in his mm-hmm. arms. Fell right well, into his pi- fell, fell right into his pitcher of beer. No, he's not an alcoholic. Well, I mean he drinks sometimes and gets in trouble, but he's not as alcoholic as he was. So. Good job, Scott Hall. We just like making fun. Alright. Please More like good job, DDP. DDP, yeah, man. DDP yoga. Maybe that is Jason's secret. He's got DDP doing the yoga in the back with the right. NWO, <laughs> stretching him out. Nobody else is using DDP yoga with the NWO. Right. TFO is not sponsored by DDP yoga. We just love them. And that's why we made billboards for them. Right. Uh, More like you're sponsoring him. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's not like many people watch our videos anyway. Tweet us online if you watch our videos. We don't have a Twitter. <laughs> Give them your personal Twitter account. YouTube, we're on YouTube, TFO Football. If, and if you don't know that, I don't know how the fuck you're watching this video. Yeah, right. Like, oh, that shit, man. You're not just going to stumble. Well, uh, I Juan, mean, you probably Juan could. just stumbled upon, right? Yeah, well, I don't know what Juan's secret is. I actually had somebody in the comments on one of Juan's videos say they wanted, like, a, like a French commentated TFO. Well, then tell them. I replied it. back, are you offering? <laughs> Dave Dragon! I listen, to, some French. I listen to any language. If you are speaking a different language... And you can understand the words that are coming out of my mouth. Let me know. TFO football at gmail.com. I'll work out a deal with you to do some commentary games. I mean, French would be pretty cool. I mean, I've had to listen to, like, Anthony Ricci this season. I'll listen to about anybody, right? Right. Uh, he owns the office team. Oh, that is. He's one of the new owners. Oh, it's the onside kick! Oh, and I'm not shocked by that. <laughs> Get it? Get it. Jim Shocker. I see. Shock, man. Did, you, did you see that action figure? <laughs> yeah. Hogan with the ball. The time ticking down. Maybe they're just trying to up the ante here with Muda. See if they can get him a little bit more points. They're going to rush in. They're going to stop the Muda. There's one second left. And, and the it's time over. Defenderos. Everwing condoms or whatever. And the New World Order. Who didn't. The only completed pass by Hulk Hogan today was an interception. But Zordon <laughs> threw three interceptions. That's the problem. The, like, the kids... Just the, it's that secondary of the New World Order. Yeah. The Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, uh, six pop, the click, if you will. Yeah. But who had the, up. but who had the big fumble? Oh, a New World Order! They did it. They like I don't think anybody's surprised by this. Right? Yeah, I division champion. I think they're the first to clinch division ish division hood. 
Peace. All right. We'll see you next Tecmo.